Our names are Will and Joe. We are both third year industrial design students at RMIT. We have collaborated throughout the semester and combined our skills to design and create the eco dance. Our aim this semester was to design an eco unit that can be used in multiple different environments, the potential to set up small eco villages. These eco structured with structures would serve as an environmentally friendly and self sufficient escape. Our initial research revolved around the exploration of various geodesic designs. We explored multiple areas, from ground based permanent designs to more temporary treehouse like structures. It was our intention from the beginning that our design would incorporate a certain degree of biomimicry. Considering this, we looked at precise structures throughout nature and observed the hexagon, a commonly recurring shape, was a viable and suitable frame that we could incorporate into our own design. With our ultimate goal of designing a sustainable and adaptable structure in mind, we settled on the idea of moving forward with a geodesic dome frame made up of hexagonal and pentagonal tiles. We aim to design a system whereby the polygonal tiles can be changed and or switched out to suit the user's needs. Our initial example involves solar tiles that can be placed on the dome to suit its positioning with regards to sunlight. Similarly, glass panels, solid insulating panels and open frames can be placed into the structure. Our concept, the EcoDome, is a self-sufficient structure that can be used and modified to suit multiple environments and locations. The modularity of our tile docking system allows users to set up domes for different scenarios, such as greenhouses, accommodation, social spaces, and educational spaces. The glass roof of the dome creates a unique experience that offers an immersed encounter with nature. The mounting system will comprise of an offset panel that sits on the top of the dome frame. Magnets and bolts will hold the panels in place, however also offering the possibility of easy removal and replacement. For the self-sufficient fundamentals of the EcoDome, we have explored these relevant areas. Water collection and storage solutions, sustainable materials for structure and tiles, waste reduction and recycling, plant growth in the form of various sustainable methods, and finally, solar energy production and battery, battery solutions. Considering power, the domes will be powered by solar panels. These panels will be mounted in the frame of the dome in the optimal sun position to maximize power collection. In Melbourne, these would be facing north. To store power collected by the stock solar panels, we will need batteries. These can be mounted to the side of the domes each dome will generate and store its own electricity to power standard 240 volt power outlets. Looking at the water, the dome's water collection will work using a drainage system around the base of the dome, which feeds into a tank underneath. The dome frame will channel water down towards the drains. Tiles, aside from solar panels, will be made out of eco acrylic. Eco acrylic is an eco-friendly alternative to traditional plexiglass. Recycled acrylic is as transparent and UV resistant as, as its non-recycled counterparts. It can be recycled and reused multiple times. Recycled clear acrylic panels will be used for windows to provide a stronger, greener alternative to a glass panel. Acrylics can also be drilled and cut for manufacture. The dome's frame will be made out of a water-activated ceramic cement, also known as bioceramic. Bioceramic is affordable, energy-efficient, carbon sequestering, non-toxic and has a lifespan of 500 years. It is both sustainable and environmentally active. The dome creates a great opportunity for a garden environment with the clear eco-acrylic tiles. A great concept for ECOS would be an aquaponics dome. With fish native to the area combined with native plants, this is a great way to highlight the natural ecosystem of the area in an interactive way for guests and visitors alike. For a fully self-contained dome, the domes would need to have a septic tank, similar to a septic tank fitted to a camper van. This would sit underneath the dome. This concept, however, would be circumstantial to each placement and the location a dome is set up in. In the case of ECOS, who have existing waste systems, this would be unnecessary. 
If a client is placing domes in remote areas that do not have sewage infrastructure, these septic tanks would be required. Depending on the local building laws, users may also use their septic waste for composting. The aim for the domes is to produce as little waste as possible. The domes waste will be composted for soil in the gardens. We aim to achieve a neutral environment whereby waste is used or disposed of in a sustainable manner. ECOS is a communal site offering an educational experience within nature. With the growth and expansion of urban settlements, there is a little in natural immersion afforded to those who dwell within these concrete environments. A lot of people have a poor perspective on life outside the city. Education surrounding the environment, food production and sustainability are areas that those who live within urban environments are scarcely confronted with. Considering this, we have asked ourselves, how can we can incorporate our self-sufficient dome to create an educational and an immersive experience alongside ECOS? Setting the domes up for accommodation, social areas, greenhouses, etc. Tourists from the city and around the world can stay at ECOS. The domes create a unique stay, separating them from traditional bed and breakfasts in the area. The self-sufficiency of the domes require the guests to be more considerate about their water and power usage, as well as general waste and the environment. The aim of the stay at ECOS is to give guests a sustainable holiday. By staying at ECOS, the guests would learn more sustainable practices from the general principles at ECOS. Partaking in social and educational activities would allow guests to bring home experiences and knowledge that can help them improve aspects of their style of living, whether that be reducing waste or starting a vegetable garden at home. The extra infrastructure and accommodation the domes provide would allow for large, larger events, which with accommodation available, it makes these events more accessible for people coming from areas further away from the city. This is an example of a web page advertising ecodomes being part of ECOS. This website would offer images and descriptions of two to three layouts of domes that people can rent to stay in. With plenty of activities for the whole family, our new ecodomes offer a truly immersive natural experience. With so much happening at ECOS, why not stay a while? Thank you very much for listening.